sister's old room, um, with her permission, she's up downstairs, uh, to do my video blog. Um, I want to start by saying it's Remembrance Sunday today. We're in the middle of the Kingdom season, uh, which in the liturgical, liturgical calendar is all about remembering uh, people who have died. This next week uh, actually has Remembrance Day in it, which is the 11th of November, I think it's Wednesday. So I'll talk a little bit about that next week. Um, this past week, uh, of course, was the start of November, and for um, people in England that's quite important because it's, it has what's called Fireworks Night, Bonfire Night, on um, the 5th of November, which dates back uh, to somewhere, I think, before the Civil War. Uh, might even have been involving the same monarch, I, I don't know. Um, but uh, it was basically a foiled plot to blow up the Houses of Parliament using gunpowder. Um, the guy got as far as la laying the, the gunpowder underneath the, um, in the undercroft underneath Parliament, but he was stopped before he was able to actually light it. So we celebrate that with bonfires and fireworks and stuff like that. So uh, I had a bit of a clip of the um, fireworks night that we went to see on the stray a couple of days later. I don't, I don't think they can see anything because it's so dark. But I am, you're actually looking at Pingu, is it? <laughs> Nanny's dressed up in her woolies. Oh, are they? No, can't see a thing. Never mind. <laughs> We're just here at the fireworks. It's cold, isn't it? Yeah. And raining. Damn. Sorry, I'm confused. Wasps in the autumn. Have you ever seen wasps in the autumn when it gets cold? They just sit there. You can just go and kill them. They just sit there. They don't do anything. They just like really. Really wasps. I can't remember the word. They're sort of disoriented. And... And that, and that was like the people, Dents. people when you went into yeah. town today. I've been surrounded by these wasps in the autumn. These people like been really dense and just standing there. I'll move it. They weren't looking at anybody. You know. I know there must have been thousands of people. Oh, well, but as you can see, it was quite wet, and um, although there are some interesting dialogues going on between me and my father and and stuff like that, I didn't actually get any record of the fireworks themselves. Um, up for that visit uh, was my nan, um, who took the opportunity when she came round to visit me to look at my new walls. Right, so this is my nan. She has returned again. This time she's visiting me before we go out on the stray for the bonfire night celebrations. Nan, you will also know, is the uh, main benefactor in the money that I have had to go to visit the US twice now. So I thought I'd ask her what she thought of how I'd spent the money. <laughs> so, Nan, I have been to the US twice um, with the money that uh, you've given me. Um, I've travelled through about 11 states and 19... I've been about, in total, about 25 days. What do you say to that? I think it's brilliant. Um, I'm so pleased that the money that we that my husband left and, and what I've been able to pass to you has been used for travelling and seeing seeing part of the world. Yeah. Um, you would never have got there. No, exactly. I would have never have got there otherwise. No. And a lot of it's inheritance money, isn't it? Yes. So I mean, you know... I've, I've, given, you, I've given you what I did. I, I, I decided that instead of leaving it to you when I'm, I'm dead and gone, um, I would give it to you now mm. so I could see what, what we were going to do with it. Yeah. And I'm absolutely delighted. Well, that's it because. In America. 
because you said to me, you know, make sure you spend it on something that you're going to enjoy, that it's not going to just become part of the... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, not, the, no, just sort of frittering yes, it away. Yes, frittering it away, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got the memories of all the people you've met there. Oh, that's you've right, the yes. the memories of all, all that you've seen uh -huh. and, and all that you've done. Uh, um, you know, it, it's, you'll never forget it. I, well, it, I hope it'll continue. Well, I just thought I'd say thank you um, by doing this little thank you video. Um, because like I've said to people online, you know, I couldn't have done it on my own. Um, I just do not have the income to do it. Um, and it has, the, it's really been a major, major highlight over the last two years. Not only that, it's actually helped because, of course, I know now a lot of people in the US as well. So it's done a world of good in, you know, sort of connecting me with other people and stuff like that. So... It's really been a very, very important, important so, thing. Yes, yeah, so, so we're going to go off shortly to enjoy the fireworks. Um, and, uh, and yes, I think that's it. And I just thought I'd show you my nan again. Since she went down such a treat last time, she got a lot of views. So, <laughs> here she is again. Well, it's very nice to meet you, even if it's only on camera. <laughs> And finally, I want to talk about Matt Riddle. Um, Matt Riddle, uh, I send out my uh, predictions to all the fighters that I have on, uh, contact with online. Uh, and in my predictions, uh, I said that he probably wouldn't win. Uh, and he reacted pretty badly, uh, name-calling me uh, based on my sexuality. Um, and he was pretty disrespectful to his opponent as well. Um, if you want to see what he actually said, you can look in the little comments box, because I've written it there. Um, uh, he responded very badly to um, my prediction video, and I didn't actually think it was that bad. Let's take a look at what I had to say for that. Uh, Nick Ozzy, goodness knows how you say his name, him, <laughs> and Matt Riddle. Now, Matt Riddle is fighting out of Extreme Couture, and he has a perfect record of three. Um, all of them are by decision. All his wins are by decision. Uh, Nick has a perfect record of four, and he's never seen a decision in his life. Um, he mostly wins by submission. Do you know, I'm going to say that I think that uh, Nick will win this one by submission. I'm going to go for a bar in the second. Finally, I want to conclude with my supports from Strike Force. Um, I liked both Gegard and uh, Sukaju. Um, Gigard won, um, but I didn't really make a prediction on that. Uh, my supports were Fedor, who won, Jeff Curran, he won as well, Fabricio Vedum and Jake Shields, uh, they won as well. So, four of my supports won. The uh, only one who lost was John Colossi, so, you know, commiserations to him. Uh, my final UFC predictions video is uploaded now, uh, so that's it. Um, until these three events, two WEC, uh, sorry, two UFCs and one WEC occur, and that is my. Um